Hello, my name is Keisha and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be showing you all how to create the um, coloring t-shirts. Um, I will be showing you how to do this using the vinyl method. You can also do this as well using sublimation. But for the sake of today's video, I will be showing you how to do this process using the vinyl method. Um, I cut the image with my Cricut machine. If you are a Silhouette user, I can show you how to set this up in the Silhouette software so you can print it with your Silhouette machine. Um, those are the only two cutters that I am familiar with. Um, if you have a different cutter, I'm not sure like what softwares you use to um, cut your images for your shirts and things. But if you have a question, I don't mind looking up the answer and getting it for you. But for the sake of today's video, like I said, I did my cutout using my Cricut machine. And I probably will do a piggyback video to this one. Um just showing silhouette users how to set it up in their soft and the um, silhouette software so they can get the same effect if you're interested in doing these color t-shirts stay tuned so i'm pulling up my cricut design space panel here when it comes up so this will be a two-part video so I am going to first show you how to bring your design over into Cricut and prepare it so it's a cup um, design. And a lot of these groups, people share the coloring pages and you can use those um, for the shirt. So if you're doing sublimation, you really don't have to do this process. You can really just print it if it's the coloring page. Mirror and print if you're doing sublimation. But if you wanted to, let's say you don't do sublimation and you wanted to cut it with vinyl, this that is what this video is for. So I'm going to show you how to um, change it over to a cuttable image. Okay, so I am going to, <clears throat> I just opened up my Cricut Design Space panel and this is how it pops up. I'm going to go to new project so it's going to bring up um, my canvas where I would design my design excuse my computer it's moving a little slow but all right so here is my um, Cricut design space canvas here okay so I am going to go to upload because I have not um, pulled the image over yet. So like I said, a lot of times in these Facebook groups, people share the images, um, the color page images. So I'm going to show you how to pull it over. Knock out the white so you can cut it. Um, if you don't use Design Space, you can also knock out the white by using... Um, remove.bg I'll show you that as well so now that I have this open I'm going to go to upload image and I am going to browse so I actually got one of the pictures that um, it was shared in the Facebook group if you uh, want certain particular um, color pages you could all you could always Google those be mindful of um, using the images because nine times out of ten they all are copywritten. But there are some free um, coloring pages that you can use. So I am, well, I clicked on browse and it didn't pop up, but I'm going to go to browse. Or I could just open up my, um, I could just open up my folder. I don't want to click on too many things and then my computer will move ten times more slow all right so i'm going to go to downloads because i just downloaded um three of the files that were shared and i know it's these here so i'm gonna just drag and drop well, I don't 
don't have it. Drag and drop here. All right, so I'm gonna just click this off. All right, so we're gonna take this one here. So once you drag and drop your image or you upload your image and you get to this page here, you want to go to complex. Again, this is for Cricut Design Space users. You can also use this if you, well, not really, because you can't move your um, images out of Cricut. I mean, you can, but it's a process. We'll get into that later. So you want to go to complex, click continue at the bottom right. So now I have the image here. Okay. So I am going to erase everything that I don't want. Okay. So it's easy to do this with the, um, it's easier to do it with the, excuse me. Ooh, it's easier to do this with the magic wand. So I'm going to just, this is the magic wand here. So I'm going to just click on the stuff that I don't want and it's going to erase it. So all the stuff you don't want, you want to take all this white out and leave the black because the black is what's going to cut out um, when you cut with your vinyl. And this actually is really not a good image because you see how it got like these little black spots in here. <clears throat> Unless you erase that, it's going to cut. So I'm going to just go. It's actually too much to try to erase. And you can size your eraser up and down over here in the left um, side over here. I think... Well, I don't have to go back and pick another one. Do it. <clears throat> Let me just grab a better image. Because I'm going to actually um, come back and do a part two to this video and cut the image out to show you um, what it does. So, you could also um, click this remove background here as well. But like I said, this got some little tiny specks of black and I don't feel like going through removing all of those. So I'm just going to upload a new picture. So I just went back to upload. I'm going to click on upload. I'm going to go to browse. Hopefully it pop up this time. It did. And I'm going to just take another one. I think this one here. Just going to drag and drop it. Click off of that. Um, Do I want that one? This one is fine. So I'm going to go to complex and continue. Okay. <clears throat> this remove um, background is only available if you have the um, Cricut Access. So if you just click that, it'll remove it. But you see it removed too much. So I'm just going to go back. And I'm going to just... Select and remove. I'm going to just manually do it. Okay. And I actually could have just got rid of this and type my own words once we get over um, back to our canvas. <clears throat> so. This is how you would do it. If you have to do it manually, you just click on the white and it's going to keep erasing. Right? Just be careful that you don't erase something that you want to keep. Like this little, in the middle of this A, it might be difficult for me to hit, but I'm going to try it. I think we got it. And I'm going to try to get in the middle of this one. So I'm just clicking on everything that I don't want, which is all this white. I just want to keep my black because that is going to be our vinyl that we are going to cut. So like I said, I believe um, the automatic 
you only have access to if um you have the cricket access i believe <clears throat> and cricket access is like it's you know where you pay like a monthly fee to utilize their um to utilize like their designs and stuff all right so i believe i clicked everything out so i'm gonna go up here to this little eye and i'm gonna click it to preview the cut So this, we still got like some black on the outside of here. <clears throat> the little black dots. And like I said, I am going to cut this for y'all so y'all can actually see. But I got one more image that I downloaded. So let's see if that one got less spots. I just don't feel like going through and removing all those little bitty black dots and like i said if you do not remove them they will cut when you cut your design so i think i have let's try this one this might be a nope i don't want that one i want this one anyway let's just replace image and I'm going to try to do that Hello Kitty image and see. I forget which one it was. Maybe it was this one. Nope. Maybe it was this one. Nope. There we go. Alright, so we're going to use this one. This is a little better. It's a little more cleaner, okay? So we're going to go to Complex. We're going to click through and get rid of all that white. I'm actually not even going to do, I'm not going to do it with the select this time. I'm just going to do it with the remove background. And that's actually new um, in here. So we remove background. You see it removed everything. I'm going to go to preview cut. It's not, a, I can see right here that it's not a lot of little, <clears throat> it's not a little, little black speckles. So this is a good image. So we are going to keep this image. And we're going to apply and continue. Okay. So here will be a printing cut. Here will be a cut image. When you're doing this, you want to make sure you select the appropriate image. So if you, <clears throat> let's say you pull over um, a picture or something. And you just want to cut around the outside. You'll make sure the outside is clear. Let's say you have your, this is your picture. And they still have colors. You just want it to cut around the edge. You select the print and cut. So it'll print and then cut. We want the cut image because we are doing this for um, the kids' coloring shirt. So I selected the cut image. It's lit up green around the outside. I'm going to go to upload. You can go here to change the image name and you can add tags. I'm not going to do all that. I'm going to just go to upload. Now it's over here with my designs. So I'm going to click it and add to my canvas. So that is the first part you want to do. It's still kind of like a little rough around the edges, but this is good. It's good. It's going to work. All right. So you want to size it to whatever size you want. Um, so you could just take and drag this arrow here. If you want to, a lot of, sometimes I don't um, unlock it because I don't want, it just depends on the project that I'm doing because I don't want the picture to like be in proportionate. So sometimes I don't do the unlock. But sometimes I do. It just depends on the design. It just depends on what I'm doing. But I'm doing this here just for the sake of this tutorial. So I'm just going to size it down a little bit. And I actually got some kid shirts that I could just play around with. Um, I 
And that's actually gonna be actually I'm gonna just make a little small like as if it was like for a baby. And I actually got a um sizing guide on my website. It is there, it will help you all with like sizing and placement when you're doing t-shirts. So if you have not downloaded it, make sure you go and download it at www.blankspro.com. It is free right now, but it will not remain free forever. Um, from time to time, we'll have different freebies. So what you want to do is you want to catch your freebie while it's free because next month or next week, it might be a different freebie. And the freebie that's currently free won't be free anymore. Okay. So I just sized this down. I actually sized it down um, small because I got vinyl I could waste, but I don't want to waste too much vinyl, okay? But make sure y'all go get that um, sizing chart because if you're looking to do t-shirts, you will need it. I mean, it can help you. Okay? So... I'm going to just do it five by seven, okay? So I'm going to go to make it. Sorry if y'all hear me chewing. Computer's still moving slow. <laughs> so we're going to go to make it, okay? So when you are doing t-shirts or anything where you are using HTV and then you got to be careful because there's different types of HTVs I know um so we won't go into all that so when you're using just basic HTV which is heat transfer vinyl for a t-shirt such as in this instance here you want to make sure you mirror the image okay mirror the image and with this Hello Kitty, it really don't even matter, but you always want to make sure you mirror your image, okay? Let's get in the habit of if you are doing a t-shirt for somebody with a heat transfer vinyl, you are going to mirror that image, okay? And this is just going to be a basic cut. So I mirrored it. I'm going to go to continue. My Cricut is... I need to turn it on. <clears throat> I need to turn it on. And I need to plug it into my computer. Because I did just unplug it. So, let me do this here real quick. This should read my machine and it knows that it is plugged up I do still have um, the Cricut Explore Air 2 I never really felt the need to buy a Cricut maker because these machines do what I need them to do um, they pretty much do what I need them to do and they in my opinion, they pretty much do the same thing as the Cricut Maker. I know they said the Cricut Maker could cut more, but this does everything that I needed to do. So, they both work. And I never really felt the need to um, buy another one. Okay? So, I will... Actually, I can change my material here. But I'm just using regular... Um, iron on vinyl so i could change my dial at the top of my cricut explorer air 2 or you can go um here where i here where i just check um where i'm circling at and you could change your material there so i'm going to go to browse all material i usually just change it at the top um if it's not like anything special and you don't have to scroll down i just always do that but you can type up here and search our material to find what you're looking for. So I'm just going to type vinyl. Hit the little magnifying glass. 
and yeah, I'll be ready to throw this computer out the window. Okay, so if you see here, all the different types of vinyl popped up, right? See that? And these are like specialty types of vinyls. Like I said, I could change my dial on the top of my um on the top of my machine. But let me just show you just in case. Let's say you wanted to cut this in like glitter vinyl. You can let's see if I could do it here. You can actually change like the pressure and stuff. The pressure and stuff for the vinyl and it um so you can change the pressure here but you can also do it on the other screen but we're not doing that right now so i'm gonna just <clears throat> cancel this and go back and pick the vinyl that i am going to use i don't need to edit my tools i just need my regular um five point blade do I want to cancel the cut? Yes, I do. So I'm going to change my dial at the top. I'm just going to select iron on. I'm going to find some iron on. So I always keep, um, I got like a basket where I keep scrap fabric. I mean fabric, Lord. Scrap vinyl from projects that I've done in the past. If it's big enough to do something with, I save it. And I use that um, scrap vinyl for stuff like this. So, all right, so we back to the screen. I am going to select the, um, see, I already um, changed my dial to iron on. And you see here, it's telling me to make sure mirror is turned on, which I didn't turn, actually it's still turned on. Sometimes when you go back, it'll like go back to default but it's still on. So I'm gonna need a 12 by 12 mat. I have mirror on, okay? So we are ready to cut. So I'm pulling up my Cricut Design Space panel here. When it comes up. So this will be a two part video. So I am going to first show you how to bring your design over into Cricut. And prepare it so it's a cup um, design. And a lot of these groups, people share the coloring pages, and you can use those um, for the shirt. So if you're doing sublimation, you really don't have to do this process. You can really just print it if it's the coloring page. Mirror and print if you're doing sublimation. But if you wanted to, let's say you don't do sublimation and you wanted to cut it with vinyl. This, that is what this video is for. So I'm going to show you how to um, change it over to a cuttable image. Okay, so I am going to... <clears throat> I just opened up my Cricut Design Space panel. And this is how it pops up. I'm going to go to New Project. So it's going to bring up um, my canvas where I would design my design. Excuse my computer, it's moving a little slow, but, all right, so here is my um, Cricut Design Space canvas here, okay? So, I am going to go to upload, because I have not um, pulled the image over yet. So, like I said, a lot of times in these Facebook groups, people share the images, um, the color page images. So I'm going to show you how to pull it over. Knock out the white. So you can cut it. Um, if you don't use design space. You can also knock out the white by using um, remove.bg. I'll show you that as well. So now that I have this open. I'm going to go to upload image. And I am going to browse. So I actually got one of the pictures that um, it was shared in the Facebook group. If you uh, want certain particular um, 
color pages. You could all you could always Google those. Be mindful of um using the images because nine times out of ten they all are copywritten. But there are some free um coloring pages that you can use. So I am well I clicked on browse and it didn't pop up, but I'm gonna go to browse. Or I could just open up my um I just open up my folder. I don't want to click on too many things and then my computer will move 10 times more slow. All right, so I'm going to go to downloads because I just downloaded um, three of the files that were shared. And I know it's these here, so I'm going to just drag and drop. And drop here all right so I'm gonna just click this off all right so we're gonna take this one here so once you drag and drop your image or you upload your image and you get to this page here you want to go to complex again this is for Cricut design space users you can also use this if you well not really because you can't move your um, images out of Cricut I mean, you can, but it's a process. We'll get into that later. So you want to go to Complex. Click Continue at the bottom right. So now I have the image here. Okay. So I am going to erase everything that I don't want. Okay. So it's easy to do this with the... Um, it's easier to do it with the... Excuse me. Ooh, it's easier to do this with the magic wand. So I'm gonna just this is the magic wand here. So I'm gonna just click on the stuff that I don't want and it's gonna erase it. So all the stuff you don't want, you want to take all this white out and leave the black because the black is what's gonna cut out um when you cut with your vinyl. And this actually is really not a good image because you see how it got like these little black spots in here. <clears throat> Unless you erase that, it's going to cut. So, I'm going to just go. It's actually too much to try to erase. And you can size your eraser up and down over here in the left um, side over here. I think... Well, I don't have to go back and pick another one. Do it. <clears throat> Let me just grab a better image. Because I'm going to actually um, come back and do a part two to this video and cut the image out to show you um, what it does. So, you could also um, click this remove background here as well. But like I said, this got some little tiny specks of black, and I don't feel like going through removing all of those, so I'm just going to upload a new picture. So I just went back to upload. I'm going to click on upload. I'm going to go to browse. Hopefully it pop up this time. It did. And I'm going to just take another one. I think this one here. Just going to drag and drop it. Click off of that. Um, Do I want that one? This one is fine. So I'm going to go to complex and continue. Okay. <clears throat> this remove um, background is only available if you have the um, Cricut Access. So if you just click that, it'll remove it. But you see it removed too much. So I'm just going to go back. And I'm going to just... Select and remove. I'm going to just manually do it. Okay. And I actually could have just got rid of this and type my own words once we get over um, back to our canvas. <clears throat> so. 
So this is how you would do it. If you have to do it manually, you just click on the white and it's going to keep erasing. Right? Just be careful that you don't erase something that you want to keep. Like this little, in the middle of this A, it might be difficult for me to hit, but I'm going to try it. I think we got it. So I'm just clicking on everything that I don't want, which is all this white. I just want to keep my black because that is going to be our vinyl that we are going to cut. So like I said, I believe um, the automatic, you only have access to if um, you have the Cricut access, I believe. <coughs> And Cricut Access is, I guess, you know, where you pay, like, a monthly fee to utilize their, um, to utilize, like, their designs and stuff. All right, so I believe I clicked everything out. So I'm going to go up here to this little eye, and I'm going to click it to preview the cut. So this, we still got, like, some black on the outside of here. <clears throat> the little black dots and like I said I am going to cut this for y'all so y'all can actually see but I got one more image that I downloaded so let's see if that one got less spots I just don't feel like going through and removing all those little bitty black dots and like I said if you do not remove them they will cut when you cut your design. So, I think I have, let's try this one. This might be a, nope, I don't want that one. I want this one. Okay. Let's just replace image. And I'll, I'll try to do that Hello Kitty image and see, I forget which one it was. Maybe it was this one. Alright, so we're going to use this one. This is a little better. It's a little more cleaner, okay? So we're going to go to complex. We're going to click through and get rid of all that white. I'm actually not even going to do... I'm not going to do it with the select this time. I'm just going to do it with the remove background. And that's actually new um, in here. So we remove background. You see it removed everything. I'm going to go to preview cut. It's not a... I can see... Right here, there's not a lot of little, <clears throat> it's not a little, little black speckles. So this is a good image. So we are going to keep this image and we're going to apply and continue. Okay. So here will be a printing cut. Here will be a cut image. When you're doing this, you want to make sure you select the appropriate image. So if you, <clears throat> let's say you pull over, um, a picture or something and you just want to cut around the outside you'll make sure the outside is clear let's say you have your this is your picture and they still have colors you just want it to cut around the edge you select the print and cut so it'll print and then cut we want the cut image because we are doing this for um, the kids coloring shirt so I selected the cut image it's lit up green around the outside. I'm going to go to upload. You can go here to change the image name and you can add tags. I'm not going to do all that. I'm going to just go to upload. Now it's over here with my designs. So I'm going to click it and add to my canvas. So that is the first part you want to do. 
it's still kind of like a little rough around the edges but this is good it's good it's gonna work all right so you want to size it to whatever size you want um so you could just take and drag this arrow here if you want to a lot of sometimes i don't um unlock it because i don't want it just depends on the project that i'm doing because i don't want the picture to like be in proportionate so sometimes i don't do the unlock but sometimes i do it just depends on the design it just depends on what i'm doing but i'm doing this here just for the sake of this tutorial so i'm just gonna size it down a little bit and i actually got some kid shirts that i could just play around with um It's actually gonna be actually I'm gonna just make it a little smaller, like as if it was like for a baby. And I actually got a um sizing guide on my website. It is there, it will help you all with like sizing and placement when you're doing t-shirts. So if you have not downloaded it, make sure you go and download it at www.blankspro.com. It is free right now, but it will not remain free forever. Um from time to time, we'll have different freebies. So what you want to do is you want to catch your freebie while it's free because next month or next week, it might be a different freebie. And the freebie that's currently free won't be free anymore. Okay? So I just sized this down. I actually sized it down um, small because I got vinyl I could waste, but I don't want to waste too much vinyl. Okay? But make sure y'all go get that... Um, sizing chart because you're looking to do t-shirts you will need it I mean it can help you okay so I'm gonna just do it five by seven okay so I'm gonna go to make it sorry if y'all hear me chewing computer still moving slow so we're gonna go to make it, okay? So when you are doing t-shirts or anything where you are using HTV, and then you gotta be careful because there's different types of HTVs. I know, um, so we won't go into all that. So when you're using just basic HTV, which is heat transfer vinyl for a t-shirt, such as in this instance here, you wanna make sure you mirror the image. Okay, mirror the image. And with this Hello Kitty, it really don't even matter, but you always want to make sure you mirror your image, okay? Let's get in the habit of if you are doing a t-shirt for somebody with a heat transfer vinyl, you are going to mirror that image, okay? And this is just going to be a basic cut. So I mirrored it. I'm going to go to continue. My Cricut is... I need to turn it on. <clears throat> I need to turn it on. And I need to plug it into my computer. Because I did just unplug it. So, let me do this here real quick. This should read my machine and it knows that it is plugged up I do still have um, the Cricut Explore Air 2 I never really felt the need to buy a Cricut maker because these machines do what I need them to do um, they pretty much do what I need them to do and they in my opinion, they pretty much do the same thing as the Cricut Maker. I know they said a Cricut Maker could cut more, but 
this does everything that I needed to do. So they both work. And I never really felt the need to um, buy another one. Okay. So I will actually I can change my material here. But I'm just using regular um iron on vinyl. So I could change my dial at the top of my Cricut Explorer Air 2. Or you can go um here where I here where I just check um where I'm circling at. And you could change your material there. So I'm gonna go to browse all material. I usually just change it at the top. Um if it's not like anything special. And you don't have to scroll down. I just always do that. But you can type up here and search all material to find what you're looking for. So I'm just going to type vinyl. Hit the little magnifying glass. And yeah, I'll be ready to throw this computer out the window. Okay, so if you see here all the different types of vinyl popped up right see that and these are like specialty types of vinyls like I said I could change my dial on the top of my um on the top of my machine but let me just show you just in case let's say you wanted to cut this in like glitter vinyl you can let's see if I could do it here you can actually change like the pressure and stuff. Um, the pressure and stuff for the vinyl. And it, um, so you can change the pressure here, but you can also do it on the other screen. But we're not doing that right now. So I'm going to just <clears throat> cancel this and go back and pick the vinyl that I am going to use. I don't need to edit my tools. I just need my regular um, fine point blade. Do I want to cancel the cut? Yes, I do. So I'm going to change my dial at the top. I'm just going to select iron on. I'm going to find some iron on. So I always keep, um, I got like a basket where I keep scrap fabric. I mean fabric, Lord. Scrap vinyl from projects that I've done in the past. If it's big enough to do something with, I save it. And I use that um, scrap vinyl for stuff like this. So, all right. So, we back to the screen. I am going to select the, um, see, I already um, changed my dial to iron on. And you see here, it's telling me to make sure mirror is turned on which I didn't turn actually it's still turned on sometimes when you go back it'll like go back to default but it's still on so I'm gonna need a 12 by 12 map I have mirror on okay so we are ready to cut okay so I'm going to end this video so this is part one of how to do the kids coloring shirts okay so I'm going to end this video I'm gonna come back you'll see me on camera and I'll show you um, the cutting process okay okay you guys so check this out I don't know why I was holding the camera making things harder for myself I forget I came up with this little overhead filming rig I have to show you all so I just have y'all in my um my little phone holder there I'm going to just grab, I should have did this before I um, started back recording. Alright, so I'm going to just grab some fabric, not fabric, Lord, some vinyl. And I got this black. All right, so I was just trying to look because I can't remember um, 
the dimensions that we made our um, Hello Kitty. But I think this is big enough. So I am going to flip this on the wrong side. So this is kind of like the shiny looking side. This is kind of like the dull looking side. So I'm gonna lay this with the shiny side facing down on my mat. Okay. I need to wipe this mat off because it's not real sticky. Or I could have just grabbed a different one, but it's all right. Usually I'll take a roller and just roll across here so it'll lay down flat for me. But So I'm going to slide this under the grooves right here. I'm not sure if you can see those, but there's grooves right here. So I'm going to slide my mat under there. Make sure it's touching the rollers. So you got two rollers here and a roller over here. And I usually just hold mine until the machine grabs it. So I'm going to push this arrow that's blinking. As I was explaining um, earlier, I still have a Cricut Explore Air 2, two of these. Um, so my selections dial is at the top. And then if it's a um, type of vinyl or material like cardstock or whatever that's not listed, then I'll go to custom and change it on the screen like I showed you all earlier. So I already have my iron on selected here. And I'm going to go to cut. Hopefully the piece of scrap vinyl that we selected is big enough. So I didn't open back up my panel to see how big it is. So while that is cutting, I'm going to use this hair shirt here. This is a child shirt, size 40. And this is actually an old shirt that I messed up about a year ago. And I was going to take this off, but I never did it. So we'll just use this for the project. And when you mess up with vinyl, there is a um, product that you can use to get this off. But we're going to use this t-shirt for the sake of this project. So my heat press is over here. Um, well, one of them. But I'm um, I'm going to pre-press this shirt just to get the wrinkles out. Okay. So I'm going to push this arrow here so my mat can come out. I usually pull this off to um, weed my vinyl. But since I got y'all propped up in a good space, I'm going to use this rotary tool. I'm just going to go across here just to cut. And this is another scrap piece. I'm going to just throw this back in my bucket. Okay, I'll just toss it to the side for now. All right, so I am going to weed out the design. So some people don't like weeding. Um, it's actually kind of therapeutic to me, even though I don't do it as much. Um. Vinyl projects. Oh, I didn't mean to leave that that long. Even though I don't do as many vinyl projects as I used to do, I still do them. So uh, I'm just gonna weed this out. Um
I'm just weeding out the vinyl that I don't need. And I should have got a better weeder, but because I could have been done with this by now. But it's okay. So see how I'm weeding this. And we are just, if you can tell just by looking at it, we just about to be left with the outer edge. second i just want to show y'all this cup that i use when i'm weeding this is actually um a baby snack cup i actually purchased this from walmart so you get it in the baby section and it's like a baby snack cup so i usually use that when i'm weeding i know y'all see me keep grabbing but i usually just use that and i think they come i think when i got them it was two in a pack all right so here's our design here, our Hello Kitty. I'm gonna move that there. I like to try to clean up my mess as I go. Cause if not, y'all know how it go. You end up with a big old mess in the end. So I'm just gonna take our design off of here. I'm gonna just try to, let me try to turn y'all this way a little bit. Uh -huh. Hopefully, y'all can see. So my t-shirt is here under my press. You'll probably be able to see part of, um, actually, I'm gonna just pull it out and put this on. So I'm gonna close this and turn it off, cause we done. We are done with that. So I already pre-pressed my shirt, right? So here's my shirt. I have a um placement guide on my website that you all can use um to help you with placing your designs just for the sake of this video since it's just me showing you how to come up with the um image your cutting image usually you want to go um three fingers down from the neck for like adults for kids you could do too so but download that um that placement guide off of my website, www.blankspro.com. It is free. This ain't for nobody. And it ain't centered. But we're going to just use it just like this. Because I just want to show y'all the concept of doing these color and t-shirts. Okay? So I'm just going to throw this on my heat press, um, which is here. I am going to... I don't need it, but I always, I always protect my surface um, just in case anything rubbed off on my heat press or anything. Like, I don't want to mess up my design, especially if it's for somebody. This is just, I'm doing it just to, um, for this video, but I do still always protect my press. That's just me. So, I'm going to press that. Or a quick, I ain't even changed my temperature on my press. I got it set, hook, um, I got it up like I'm doing sublimation. I didn't change it, but I should have. So I'm just gonna press that for 15 seconds. This, I usually let it cool before um, pulling it off. I also usually use um a pressing pillow as well. Not always, but when I'm doing vinyl, I just use, and I got this on Amazon. It ain't even really thick, but it's just a little bit of extra cushion. And the only reason I use that, just so I can get like a little more pressure. I also have, or do I have it on my site? I don't think I have it on there, but I can, um, Can upload it for you all. Um, I guess it's just the recommended time and temperatures for different types of vinyls. Um, all right. So 
sorry. I'm bouncing y'all around. I am sorry. I'm just going to adjust y'all a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. Whatever. You can tell this is old vinyl. <laughs> But that is how you do your coloring t-shirt. So this is a good product to do um, for a child for Valentine's Day. If you want to offer these. Um, you can also up your price if you want to add the um, crayons with, I mean crayons, the markers with them. I sometimes use, um, you can use fabric markers or you can use washable markers. I recommend using the washable markers just because, you know, a kid, they might want to color their shirt, you know, more than one time. They might want to color it today and next week they might want to wear the same shirt and color it again. Okay. So while I got y'all here, I'm just going to do a quick, just show y'all how... Mm. Me, I would I would put some um washable markers. They actually have cheap ones that um Dollar Tree you can add in your packages. So you can grab those. For me, let's see if I even got a piece of um I usually fold my shirts around a piece of cardstock. That's just me because I don't like them sliding down or falling down in the bag. But presentation is everything when you're doing stuff for people. Um, there's no right or wrong way to fold, but me, I usually, and that's, that's extra money, so you don't have to do that. But I usually fold my shirts around, um, I usually fold my shirts around a piece of cardstock. That way it keeps its position when it's in the package. But you want to make sure it's cute and presentable. I probably could have grabbed a smaller bag. I got a lot of different sizes of these poly, I mean, um, these clear bags. I got them from, where did I get these from? I got these from Uline. And it's not lined up, but you just always want to make sure. This is nice and neat. And I will add the crayon, I mean the crayons, the, the markers um with this as well. So there is your color and t-shirt. That's how you do the color and t-shirts. It's a very easy process. Like I said, you could do this with vinyl or sublimation. Vinyl or sublimation. If you're not doing sublimation yet, but you got your Cricut, you can do these. And like I said, you can get, um, just make sure when you get the markers that they are washable. The fabric markers, they usually typically have um, permanent ink in it. But as a child, me, it will probably be my favorite shirt. I probably want to color it all the time before I wear it. I wanted to show you all about the um, remove.bg. But I'll do that in another video. But if you don't have Cricut, you can use the remove.bg as well to remove the white um, like we did to make it like a cuttable image. If y'all have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, until next time, thank you all for watching this video. Bye.